Okay, I want to show you all a problem that I've been having with my CH gear for the better part of the last month or two since I've had the chance to get back into Star Citizen. Now, this problem has only recently showed up. Um, when I first got my uh, system set up, when I made the gaming chair at the beginning of the year, I did not notice this problem at all. Uh, since I've come back to Arena Commander 2.0, um, it's been a constant thorn in my side and I have not been able to figure out exactly what it is um, that's going on. So as you can see, I have the calibration uh, set up open on the CH Manager and what you're looking at is the Z-axis um, fluctuating if you will. If you look at Z, you'll see the number 229 on the side there, and you'll watch as it jumps between 229, 230, 228, um, and it just moves around. Now, my hands are not actually on the control while this is going on. This is happening uh, on its own, and unfortunately, when you get into the game, this translates into the throttle constantly making minute adjustments, um, even when you're at zero. And it makes it really hard to do detailed things such as landing or staying completely stationary in space because you're always trying to thrust. Um, and also made it really hard setting up the controls in the options menu because the game was constantly detecting that you're moving it and therefore that was what you wanted to be the input. So, yeah, problems all around. Now, I um, got this little thing here, you'll see it. After going all over the internet trying to find this problem I've noticed that I'm not the only one with it there is hundreds of other people uh, fighting this problem and I've been across the uh, the CH hangar forums I've been on reddit I've been on the star citizen forums um, just looking all over for solutions I've even seen other YouTube videos showing what I'm showing you now as the uh, is it fluctuates around you notice I move it all the way up to the top once it's 10 and leave it alone it doesn't move at all it actually stays pretty stationary over halfway once I bring it down below halfway however um, and just let go of it the numbers just start bouncing all over heck again and I finally found a solution to this problem and it was one that was driving me insane and that was get a USB powered hub um, there's all kinds of suggestions, everything from opening up the opening up your uh, throttle base, voiding your warranty, and making sure all the connections are tight and the wires aren't being jostled around, all the way to um, making sure that it's the only thing plugged into your computer. You only want one thing plugged in at a time. And after going all over the place and trying all these other sections, I bit the bullet, spent forty dollars, and bought a uh, powered USB 3.0 hub and that is what I am using to um, fix my problem and I'm going to show you the differences between it. Alright, so we got a Vulcan uh, 4.3.0 USB hub. The 3.0 part's not going to be making that big of a deal because I only have an extension cord for this thing that is a 2.0. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this set up, plugged in, installed, turn the uh, computer back on, and we will see if this makes any difference. I hope it does, because the dang thing cost me over 40 bucks. Okay. So as you can see, I've got extension cord running off the back wall, clear across to the chair, and then a nightmare conglomerate of wires down there running back into the closet here. I put a hole there and put my case in the closet. The closet's on the uh, outside wall of the house and it gets really cold in there and I figured, you know what, instead of heating up this room to unbelievable temperatures, I'll put it in the closet and it can stay nice and cool. And if it does get warm in there, well, at least I don't get warm. All right, so anyways, got that conglomerate down there. Um, if this test setup works, then I will organize it and get it Velcroed to the chair like I did with the old hub. Um, 
wish I could take that off there, but once this Velcro comes on, that's it, it's on. So I have to go get the new Velcro. All right, so we'll try this setup and see what happens. Okay, so now we got the uh, throttle plugged back in and I need to calibrate it because I've moved the uh, USB plug around. And every time you turn the power off on your computer or move the USB plug, um, or plug them in, unplug them, it seems like you need to recalibrate the CH gear. Uh, it's a small annoyance, but at least it's you can consider it part of a pre-flight checklist, making sure everything is uh, running smoothly. Um, I just do it anyways to make sure my map's loaded. So you go in there, do the calibration, and one of the things I did while I was doing the calibration is I read this on one of the forums, is to create a detent dead zone at the uh, zero position of the throttle. And what that means is you don't pull the throttle completely back as far as it'll go when you're doing the calibration. And what I did is I took a small mechanical pencil and I put the tip of that down in between the base of the throttle and the very edge of the slider hole and by doing that it prevented it from going all the way to um, zero and it created a small area where once the calibration is complete it's not going to read anything it had no movement no nothing now I did try this first before I bought the USB hub and it did not make any difference but I'm gonna do it again afterwards just as kinda of extra insurance and that way I know for a fact that when it's all the way back um, there's no input being uh, sent to the game. Uh, so I've already got the calibration done and you can see that the z-axis is just sitting at a nice steady 229. It's not jumping around like it was. The analog stick still moves a little bit but I think it's just that sensitive to where any vibrations in the chair move it. Um, and playing around with it a little bit, moving it back forth, trying to get it to do it deliberately. I'm pulling back hard now on the, uh, the throttle and you can see it's bouncing around as I pull back on it. Um, I'm actually going to be able to get this thing up to 232 playing around with it um, and then as soon as I just stop playing with it and let it go completely it just sits there. You know, I'm just still playing with it right here trying to put my, my force into it. Um, I'm deliberately trying to get this to repeat and I'm not seeing to be able to do it. Um, and so I think this may have solved the problem. Um, I'm crossing my fingers here. You notice I'm a clear up at 10 there, and, uh, clip at the top, and it's not moving around. Um, so yeah. So the next step is to take this in game and see what happens.